guys, welcome to Manifestology. Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be doing an intention setting process to manifest your ex. Okay, this is a controversial subject. Not everybody wants their ex back for, you know, all sorts of reasons. But in this case, we're going to be working on manifesting a connection that you feel was left sort of like halfway. Someone who you connected very deeply, someone who you have a lot of love for, someone who has a lot of love for you, but for whatever circumstances, things sort of fell out and didn't completely work. Now, if these circumstances are, for example, changes in locations, long distance, all sorts of... All, blah, blah. <laughs> all sorts of external circumstances, then this intention is for you. The intention setting process that we're going to be doing here in each one of the videos in this channel is very, very powerful because of three factors. The power of the spoken word, the words of power that we're choosing to use in this intention, and certain key phrases and the order in which we're going to be um, requesting this from the universe, okay? The, uh, the intentions, what they do is that they sort of bring all of that energy together, laser focus, to bring this result into your reality. All right? And before we start, you know, you can do this intention how many times you want. You can repeat it oftentimes in a single day. You know, it really doesn't have um, any kind of limit that way. However, we have created something that's way more powerful for you, and I think that's easier to use. It's called the Subconscious Reprogramming Romantic Glow Up. <laughs> so it is intended for you to manifest while you sleep. Long audios with tons of affirmations and intentions about specific things. Each bundle, in this case the romantic one, has all sorts of um, audios for you, which are really powerful to get back your ex, to manifest a pregnancy, to manifest a higher level of commitment, to find the right person, to alleviate financial struggles in partnerships. You name it, it's there. So I'm going to leave that information below if that is something that resonates with you because it works with the subconscious mind, which is more powerful than the conscious mind. Here we are directing energy in a conscious way, okay? So if you can incorporate both, you're going to be good to go, okay? Let's begin by centering ourselves and taking a very deep breath. And repeat after me out loud. My intention right here and now is to reclaim my unfinished story of love with my person. My intention is to open the door for that love to come back in. And my intention is to realize but that door has always been open for me in my person's heart. My intention right here and now is for communication to flow effortlessly between us, contact to become fun and exciting, And for us to really be able to enjoy each other as deeply as possible. Angels, archangels, higher powers, please, please, please come into this situation and bring this love back to me. To enjoy, to support, and to grow with this person. 
My intention right here and now is for a clean slate to manifest between us. May everything be forgiven. May everything but the good be released. I declare it and so it is. I allow it. So mote it be. Universe, grant me this or something better for the highest good of all involved. Amen. I like to, I like to add a little amen <laughs> at the end of the intention setting process. You don't have to if it doesn't resonate with you. But yeah. Sometimes, you know, in this society, we're quick to release people from our lives. We're quick to say, you know, this didn't work in the first try, so let's just forget about it. But as years go by, we may find that there's a lot of value in people that, you know, we may have, for whatever circumstance, um, left behind. So I think it's a very powerful thing to consider. And well, as I mentioned earlier, if you want something a little bit more in depth, more powerful to go into the subconscious mind, well, the resources are under this video. Okay, you can get it. Um, and yeah, work on it. See how you feel about it. It's interesting. You know, there's a lot of people that go against this, saying that there's nothing in the past for them, but. We both know that the time shared with a person is always special in some way. No matter how it ends, no matter what circumstances arise, um, some connections are definitely worth keeping. And I hope that this intention helps you with that, alright? I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.